One of our viewers commented, could you show a video on homemade degreasers? This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed. We're going to take a look at two we found on the internet that seem promising and compare that to two bought products. One, a regular degreaser. This is a citrus degreaser from Finish Line. And the other is just a, a store-bought product you can buy at the grocery store. And this is Simple Green, not the degreaser, but just Simple Green. You can also get it at Amazon. And we're going to make a comparison study and see how effective these are. We have removed this uh, worn chain from one of my bikes. And as you can see, it's full of a lot of dirt and grime. In this case, since it's worn, we're going to break this chain up into four different pieces to take a look at how the degreasers that we're going to put together work. Now we have our four sections. Again, really dirty, grimy. Now, some people, when they clean, will spray the chain or other components with the degreaser and then scrub and wipe off the particular component and then wash it. Well, for homemade degreasers, they work best if you can soak the component for about 15 minutes before you go ahead and scrub. So we're going to take each of these sections of chain and for our comparison, and we're going to do the following. We're going to be looking at four degreasers. We're not looking at kerosene and petrol because they're not environmentally friendly or biodegradable as the four that we're going to look at. Two that are manufactured finish line citrus specifically for bicycles simple green not the simple green degreaser but just the all-purpose cleaner found at the grocery store and two we found on the internet one consisting of vinegar baking soda dove and water in proportions which we list in our description the proportions are in tablespoons such that they'll add up to one cup the other table salt white vinegar, borax, and water, also proportions we list in the description in terms of table, tablespoons such that they'll give one cup. And we're going to take each section of chain, place it in the cup of the greaser. We'll All right, it's been 15 minutes. What we're going to do is we're going to take each one, we're going to scrub it well with a toothbrush. Each one gets a separate toothbrush donated by my local dentist. And then we're going to wash these with soap and water and rinse them under the faucet and take a look. Let's take a look at our results. We took apart the chain uh, in addition so we can get a feel for how well the degreasers penetrate. This is a new chain. If we look very closely, we can see that there's a small amount of lubricant surrounding the bushings, as there should be on the new chain. That watch washed with the citrus and then soap, water, and dried. If we look at it, is extremely similar with a small amount of lubricant around the bushings. This is actually good. You want to keep that lubricant around. That's after degreaser and washing and drying, etc. But the pin and the links are tight enough to keep some lubricant, at least a small amount, around the bushings, which you definitely need to do. Finally, Let's look at some of the others. The Simple Green, similar, although it's not easily aware on the camera. There's a little bit more dirt and grime, minute amount, on when we use the Simple Green, although the chain links look fine inside and out. So maybe the citrus this might be a tiny bit better, but the Simple Green works fairly well. The other two that we used are homemade. The Vinegar Dove baking soda over here left uh, a 
lot more again it's difficult to see on the camera but left a lot more uh, dirt and grime around where we see the rollers go and around the inner links uh, even more dirt and grime with the salt borax and vinegar so and also we found with the salt borax and vinegar there was a lot more dirt we'll see if we can demonstrate that inside some of the links was harder to brush to remove than it was with the others in conclusion the environmentally friendly degreasers such as finish line citrus and even the simple green are superior to the homemade DYI degreasers, at least the ones we've tested so far. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to use degreaser every time you've gone out for a ride. What we do is about every 150 to 200 miles we'll do our quick two-minute drivetrain cleanup as shown in the upper right and when it gets really dirty or mucky then we'll go ahead use degreaser, wash it down, rinse, dry, and re-lubricate. This is especially true on our mountain bikes. It's of particular interest that even after using degreaser, washing with soap and water, rinsing and wiping dry, we still have a little bit of lubricant surrounding the bushings, which is excellent. It means that the pins and links are tight enough to keep water and other substances from washing these out, which is important in case we ride in bad weather. In our next video, we're going to show you, demonstrate, where the lubricant actually penetrates to when we add it to our chain. If you have, ex have experience with environmentally friendly degreasers, especially homemade DYI type, please comment below. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed. Safe cycling.